I quit my high paying job in the tech industry and moved to Montana to pursue my dream of starting my own whiskey distillery. Just around $25,000 to my name and a few pieces of equipment I brought with me, we're starting from scratch. Will our whiskey distillery be successful? We'll find out. This is Whiskey RP. Oh, another day. It's April. Let's check on our fields that we took care of. Grass is coming in nice. Could use a little more fertilizer. Cotton's looking good. Starting to germinate here. Very nice. Fertilizer's good. No weeds. Looking nice. You know, cotton's a new crop to us, and so is the sugar cane, which apparently I called bamboo a few episodes ago. Looking good. We do need a little bit more fertilizer on it, but I don't see any weeds, and they're so young and flexible at this point that I think the skinny tires on the fertilizer spreader, or sprayer, excuse me, will be able to handle that. Barley, you know, a couple months from now, gosh, it'll probably be two months from now where this is gonna be ready in June. Both fields, excited about that, be able to turn on the whiskey distillery. We did have our final walkthrough. Everything's good, we are officially approved and legal. So once we get the goods, We'll be, we'll be rolling. But today we're gonna plant some corn. The parts came in for the John Deere that we purchased. So we're gonna get the maintenance done on that this morning. And we're gonna use it to plant because why not? There it is. And I just paid the bill for that. It was $6,000, but it should be running good. Just like it's new at this point. Did the work on it earlier this morning. Let's go get the planter. Let's, let's get the corn in the ground and then we'll weed that fertilize it do a couple coats of fertilizer on the other things that need it and then we'll take care of the productions we do have a lot of sugar to move around some maple syrup as well and probably some clothes at this point point. and also early in the morning i did get corn all prepped in the cedar here i'm calling it a cedar it's a planter let's head on over to that field and this should be extremely fast with this planter. Take care of a few end rows here. We definitely do not want to accidentally plant over our cotton in the field next to us. There we go. Corn going in the ground real nice here. Kind of a unique shape. So taking care of this first end row will definitely help with the back and forths. Lift it up here. Oh, jackknifed a little bit. So turning with this new tractor seems super easy so we'll see how we adjust to using it but let's do another end row here and with the way that turns we might be able to just turn and head west to get down to the other end of the field and do the same without completely turning around let's let's give that a shot here about right here and eh, we could have done a little bit better. Oh yeah, nice, a little bit better on the turn there, but we'll stay right where we're at so we know where to overlap. The you know texture change isn't completely obvious. Kind of is when you look backwards, but not from this back view here. So we'll go ahead and lift and loop back around. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely a nice tractor for this. Let's get far enough over to the right here. Very, very nice. All right, now just the up and downs, and we will be all done here. All right, the corn is in the ground, so next is to really take care of fertilizer in on the grass field and this field, but we also want a weeder. Get the weeder out here. And I think that would be a pretty good job for the case. We drive through our grass field here. We'll get this put away, and we shouldn't have to use this anytime soon, so let's get it cleaned up one more time for getting put away for the for the whole rest of the year here well at least till fall our uh, planting season yeah just a little spray down just really trying to take care of our equipment we want it to last a long time as i mentioned last episode and coming out here with the weeder on the case I th man, this should be super fast uh get this done we'll get fertilizing and i'm getting a little a little greedy here i'm looking at this field to our left and i'm wondering should we just finish this entire, you know, section here and own all of it? And it's kind of what I'm leaning towards. And I'm going to get a hold of a realtor and see if they know what the cost is for that. And if we have enough money, because I really want to plant soybeans. You know, we got corn, cotton, and we also have the sugar cane. And they're all, you know, crops we've never done. So that'll be fun this, this fall. But right now, I'm also thinking our cash crop isn't around like to get soybeans so we'd probably yeah we'd probably cultivate over that if we bought it and then try to instantly turn that over 
to have soybeans in it. It's going to be a busy harvest season. Well, just got off the phone with the realtor. The deal is done. We got that land purchased, $71,000. Very nice. So we'll get the cultivator out on there and probably use the new John Deere for that to get it cultivated. We'll see where we're at by the end of the day if we have time to prepare it, check it for lime, if it's going to need that, what kind of fertilizer it's going to need. So added some tasks, but I think that's what we really wanted to do is really really expand this year and really making up for our lost time from being in prison and uh getting back into it and really wanting to dominate this area and really own this whole area let's look at the map so this whole section on this side of the road we do own we don't own these fields here but these are ours so that's that's what our goal was originally to own all of this land and potentially combine the two fields to our right next time around but we'll see about that just one large barley field is kind of what i'm thinking there maybe a wheat field over here a larger corn field next time as well but we got the weeding done let's get the fertilizer out but we'll also get the john deere prep to start cultivating that field up I was talking a little bit with the previous owner of this field out here that we just bought and they did do lime recently so we'll just need to cultivate and plant and that would really be a good start for us on that new field. To get the soybeans in the ground, we'll probably, gosh, I'm thinking about planting them in May though, just to spread out some of our harvests. So we'll get it cultivated, then we'll get to putting the extra layers of fertilizer down that we need to. I believe the field to our right needs it. The one to the left needs its first application. The grass field needs one. So we'll get a good amount of fertilizer in the ground. But we'll get Bobby started on cultivating this before we do that. And with this new John Deere should have plenty of power. Oh, looks like Grace came instead of Bobby today. Hey, Grace. Yeah, get that cultivated up. Very nice. Look how quick it's going, too. All right, let's go get the fertilizer. Looking at our map, it is the new grass field, the corn field, and the sugarcane field that needs fertilization. So it's not the cotton field. We did that in the winter. So we'll get this going. And then we need to check on productions in a little bit as well. Got to get some sugar distributed. Uh, we'll start with this one. We'll come back to the grass field and then go from there. And here we go. Should be a good yield of corn this year for us. Cultivator, do its job. Good job, Grace. Not only is the width here of this machine amazing, but also the speed. You can see we're going 16 miles an hour putting fertilizer down. You can get the job done in no time with that. Next month, we'll definitely have to take care of the vines as well and probably cut some grass. It might be June before we cut grass. And next, the grass field. Oh, I guess if I was over all the way, yeah, we'll still have to do two passes. Hitting the vines a little bit. I wonder if that actually applies fertilizer there. Interesting. Grass field all done. Let's go ahead and fold this up so we don't run into anything and head on over to the sugar cane and we'll get a good path going here. This will be my first time working on this field. With this implement, I don't think we need to really worry about the end rows. So let's get it unfolded. Let's see about exactly where we need to start. Could be about right here, should be good. And we'll just start heading up and down. Might not have enough product, pretty good size field but it might be okay as well all right getting to the last area here and it's a good size field so this should be it's gonna be a long harvest but it should be a lot of sugar for us to where we'll probably be able to take a year off from harvesting sugar all done let's get this home and cleaned as it will be needed next month to put another application of fertilizer on the corn field and then after that it'll be done until our winter prep yeah this hasn't been clean in a while but we're, we're doing better with the maintenance and it seems to from what i've been reading definitely help with break up breakdowns and keeping things you know running instead of losing time by always repairing and getting maintenance done on these so we'll do the maintenance as we need it instead of waiting for things to break down and that'll be the best way to run the farm i believe so let's get this put away Nice undercover spot that it has, and we'll check on the cultivator, and then we need to work on those things with the productions that we're talking about, too. Oh, yeah, Grace is doing great work here. Getting use out of the new tractor. Definitely going to take a while to get this done, so I think it will be May when we finally get this planted. But 
that'll be good. It still gives us time for the soybeans to grow and get a good yield out of them. All right, let's go ahead and grab the skid steer. It's not a skid steer, the telly handler. And we'll head on over to the sawmill. We're gonna move the wood chips around, get that production running for a little bit, and then we will move the sugar around. And it's time to clean up these rows as well. They're all cleaned up. Get it deposited here. That should be good money here in a few minutes. And go ahead and deactivate it now. It should still sell them even though it's not activated. And we should get, you know, just in five minutes, a good amount of money. And yeah, we're sitting at 131,000 now. So that will do. Let's go ahead and get the sugar moved around next. All right, let's see what we got over here. And like always, we'll top off the yeast factory as well. We might want to see how it's doing with grapes if we need to bring more over here or not yet. There we go. We should have about 20,000, I would assume, here. Or 13. Production still has 43,000 to go through. And did I see something that should be... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yep, yeah, let's get this uh, topped off at the yeast factory and then over to Hoot's place and get some money. So a little bit dropped off there. And we're going to move this over as well. Got 300 yeast now. Nice. Get the rest of this sold at Hoot's place. Grace making good work over here. Almost done. Very nice. And here we go. $20,000 of sugar. We're sitting at 151. Money's coming in nice. And another piece of equipment. We need to take care of our truck too. Get it nice and washed. It's It's been a while. Look at this thing. Are there windows here? Looks like there are. Oh, it's a lot of dirt. Getting new. Same with the trailer. It's filthy. Nice, shiny trailer. Look how shiny the truck is. Oh, that's so nice. We're going to pick up all the maple syrup. We're going to get that sold as well right now. Really, at this point, we're starting to save up money for the leases that we'll need to do here in the fall of equipment to help with the harvest. And couldn't get it all there in one go. Let's try that. There we go. Not a lot of money there, just about 10,000. Let's go ahead and get this home and see what else there is to do for the day. Everything's fertilized. Weeds are all taken care of, so we just have the soybean field really to take care of. How's the fertilizer on the grapes looking? Zero. Yep, we still got to take care of all of that, and we'll probably do that next episode. Doesn't seem to be actually distributing our fabric. What if we activate that? And then we'll check when we get to the next hour. I don't know why it wouldn't have automatically distributed it. We didn't have it activated. I don't think that's why. Maybe, maybe it is. And maybe that's the same problem over here with the distribution. Or... It's just bugged. It looked like that was the case. So now we have no fabric here. And we have fabric over. Interesting. Okay, let's... Let's activate this. We're going to activate it so it knows that we need wood chips. And we have a little bit of wood chips. Six <laughs> liters here. Seven liters. So at the next hour, we'll see if that works. But we're going to go ahead and pick up the John Deere. It's all done cultivating. And we'll be back. Very good. Nice and clean. We'll get it planted in May, which should lead to a November harvest and a nice chunk of income coming in for the end of the year. Would be nice to have it before, but money should be okay. Go ahead and get this all cleaned up again. We are doing all this cleaning to make sure these machines stay in good shape. And this one wasn't too dirty, so that should be about it there. We'll get it put away. I'm starting to think this sheep barn isn't producing as much as it could either with this amount of sheep. 32 animals. Might need to upgrade. We could hold 75 and I think it might be time to do that. And we're going to go with the adults too. All right, now we have 75 in here. And you can't really tell, but we have a lot more. We'll see how they do food-wise now as well as wool. And let's head on over to the wood chips and see about that in about 30 minutes. All right, a good amount piling up, 10 liters. We'll speed up time a little bit here. They do not distribute. And I think the, oh, did they? They did. They did. Oh. So we're at 12 liters. Let's back away. We'll go another hour and we're still only at five. Okay. Very interesting. And 12 over here, missing materials. We're not going to have to move that around, but we will want to stop that every once in a while so we can populate the whiskey distillery with wood chips when it runs out. All right. Well, there's nothing else to do on the farm this month, so I think we're going to have to call it an episode here. 
Thanks for hanging out. I'm Socks Way Up, and I'll catch you on the next episode.